Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 16. Today I'm going to show you how to make mashed cauliflower in your Instant Pot. It's pretty good. Don't go anywhere. I've been on this diet for almost a year. It's kind of keto, but actually it's just no sugar is what it is and no carbs. But anyway, one of my favorite things to make is Instant Pot mashed cauliflower. Almost just like mashed potatoes. It's got heavy cream and butter and garlic. What else could go wrong? It's fantastic. So here we go. Oh, this refrigerator is buzzing now. That's great. First, we set our Instant Pot to saute. Then we take a half a stick of butter, cut it into quarters, dump all that in, let that get good and melty. And while that's doing that, we're gonna cut up our cauliflower. Get rid of all this junk we're not going to eat. Get rid of this core. Mm. Now butter is getting good and melted. Put in some garlic, about that much. This is about a minute. Then we're gonna put it, I'm gonna stop the uh, saute. I'm gonna put in, this, yeah, eight ounces of chicken broth. You can use chicken stock if that's what you have. Make sure you put your lid on sealing and not venting. And then you come down here to the front and you say manual. And you change the time, six minutes. And in about 15 minutes, it'll be ready. So it's done. So I'm going to reach over here and push stop. I'm going to go up here and release it. And you release it by moving this thing over. And I put a towel on it to keep the steam under control. As soon as this guy falls like that, then we're ready to go. Pop that off. Take this sucker out. That's not gonna work at all, is it? It's foggy. <laughs> my lens is all fogged up. Hey, kill it. Take my wide angle off. There we go. That might work out better. Then we just start mashing. Put in a half a cup of heavy cream. Whew, steamy. A little kosher salt, a little more butter. After you plate it up, you can use black pepper or whatever you want. Here's a little bonus. Roasted asparagus. I just put asparagus on a little pan in the uh, in the toaster oven. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic. About 20 minutes on broil. <clears throat> Something else. And that's what it all looks like. Cauliflower, some roasted asparagus, and a little uh, baked chicken I had from yesterday. 
Okay guys, that's it for this one. If you got something out of this, click the like button. Click subscribe and hit that bell if you want to get notified when I post something new. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good night.